Good morning, December 25th, 2023. Do not burn the candle at both ends. Daily story from home. On Christmas Day, Merry Christmas. The mind must, give, must be given relaxation. It will rise improved and sharper after a good break. Just as the rich fields must not be forced, for they will quickly lose their fertility if never given a break. So constant work on the anvil will fracture the force of the mind. But it regains its powers if it is set free and relaxed for a while. Constant work gives rise to a certain kind of dullness and feebleness in the rational soul. Seneca on Tranquility of Mind 17.5 One cannot read Marcus Aurelius and Seneca and not be struck by the difference between these two radically different personalities. Each had his own strength and weaknesses. Which would you rather have entrusted with the immense responsibility of an empire? Probably Marcus. But who would you rather be as a person? Probably Seneca. One of the reasons in that Seneca seems to have and what we would now refer to as work-life balance. Whereas, Marcus can read as though he's worn down and tired. Seneca always feels energetic, fresh, robust. His philosophy of rest and relaxation intermixed with his uh, rigorous study and other stoic rituals probably had a lot to do with it. The mind is a muscle, and like the rest, it can be strained, overworked, over injured. Our physical health is also worn down by overcommitment, a lack of rest, and bad habits. Remember the tall tale about John Henry, the man who challenged the machine. He died of exhaustion. The end. Do not forget that. Today, you may face things that try your patience, require considerable focus or clarity, or demand creative breakthroughs. Life is a long haul. It will mean many such moments. Are you going to be able to handle them? If you burn the candle at both ends, if you've been abusing and overworking your body. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Happy holidays.